Do you think there are parallels to be drawn between the democratic vote to leave the EU and an illegal invasion of Ukraine where thousands of civilians have died? No, I, I don't think those two situations are directly analogous. I mean, clearly, clearly they're not directly analogous, and I, I don't think the Prime Minister was saying that they were directly analogous either. He's not saying they're directly analogous, but what he is saying, the people of this country, like the people of Ukraine, choose freedom every time, and an example he gives is Brexit. I said, I, I, the situations are, are obviously not analogous. Right? The, one is a democratic referendum in a country where, thankfully, we're able to debate uh, ideas in, in peace and, and in freedom. Ukraine wants to join the EU. And, and, and of course, and that, and that should be their right. And actually, that's part of, that's part of the situation that Putin finds, uh, was well, for him, he doesn't like the idea at all, right? Uh, that idea of expression of freedom. But the, I think I said that they're not directly analogous situations, but I don't believe the Prime Minister was saying that they were either. You wouldn't have used those words, though, would you? I, I don't. I don't think the prime minister did either. He, you know, well, they, are, just, they are not. They are not. We just listened to. Yeah, him. I don't. I I look, just people draw their own you conclusions. Exactly what the prime minister said. So, so we're not taking this out of any, out of context at all. Yeah, and people. And look, people will make up their own minds. But I, 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 I certainly don't think those two situations are directly analogous, and I don't think he does either. So you agree with the prime minister that the people of this country, like the people of Ukraine, choose freedom every time, such as Brexit. I mean, I, I do think people in this country prize their freedom. Of course, of course they do. And well, there's lots of different ways that they express that, whether it's through elections, through referendums, uh, and other democratic means. But right now, the people in Ukraine are fighting for their freedom. It's pretty crass, isn't it, though, to draw those two things together? I, I think no one can doubt that the prime minister has taken a lead globally in standing up to Putin's that's not aggression. The, that's not the question I asked well, you. Well, I, I mean, I think it, there's, there's nothing crass about that. I mean, he's taken a lead internationally in assembling a coalition of countries to inflict maximum economic pain on Putin, uh, and he has galvanised opinion, and, and I think he deserves enormous credit for that. So I don't think anyone could say that he's So you don't, not, you don't think uh, he's, that he's not absolutely focused on making sure we can do everything we can to support the Ukrainians at this time, a fact that's been acknowledged by the Ukrainian leadership, actually. Um, and you heard that when... when uh, uh, when the president addressed Parliament, uh, but also more generally, I think it's acknowledged the UK has played a leading role. The Prime Minister deserves enormous credit for that. But uh, of course, these two situations are not analogous, and no one is saying that they are.